Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So today I think I want to do a summoning. I think um, I've been holding on to these diamonds for way too long and there's no way I would be able to use them up that fast. So I think it might be might be a good way for me to like, you know, use up some of my diamonds by, by summoning and stuff. Um, I'm not sure if I'm really going to buy anything like anymore in the game. I'm not sure if I really need to. Maybe, maybe in the future just for fun if they, they have some like really good packs with uh, some really strong monster or something like that. Maybe I could always do it in the future. I do like kind of regret well actually I, I, there's no way I can regret because I didn't have enough money to buy the buy another um, Adele pack and make my Adele f um, four star so she's kind of stuck here at three stars um, it's definitely a lot stronger if I can get her four stars like you know more damage more stats um, yeah 5,000 more HP like that that's actually quite a lot you know so pretty much at a little bit of a disadvantage because I, I was I wasn't able to get that pack, but I think it's it's definitely okay because I don't think she's she's gonna like you know always be the strongest tank in the game. There's definitely gonna be um, some meta changes or something in the future, but it's just for now like um, she's she's really really strong and um, you know I'm I'm not sure if she's gonna be definitely be my strongest monster. I'm not sure how the future of this game will work for free to play players because um, obviously free to play players have a lot less access to to soul shards. So they can't like you know mass summon or or anything like that. I've been rambling on too long. Let's just go in and just do some random battle. Ooh, someone actually hit me and brought me down to 72. Better uh, better revenge that fuck and fuck him up. Okay, I can't beat this. Um, never mind, never mind. Let's uh, let's 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 just refresh a few times and find someone weak that I can uh, that I can fuck over. All right. Wait, can I beat this? This comp actually seems pretty strong. Like they nuke and just kill my backline. But he's he's not that strong. He maybe maybe I can kill him. He doesn't have that many defensive skills. I might be able to cleave through him, and then um, once it resets, I can cleave through Olga. This might be bad for me. Let's uh let's oh shit I was gonna I was gonna start it. I didn't mean to refresh. Maybe we can find him again. Come on. Was this the same guy? Oh shit, this pay to win motherfucker already has a new hero. What is this bullshit? What is this pay to win? Damn it. Where was that guy from before? Can I still find him? Or maybe I should fight this one. This one's actually really strong too, but I think I can beat him because he's he's using Bahomet um, and Adele, and I I can cleave through cleave through both of them pretty pretty easy with my Death Knight because he's only running one healer and he doesn't have any attack buff, and I'm running Arin so I have a lot more damage. All right, holy shit, Petrify, heal up, heal up. All right. Now my death knight's gonna fuck him up. Holy shit, that succubus just melted. Rip. Oh, this guy's using shitty Zelene. I actually do want to switch out Death Knight. Like, I don't think he's that good for for PvP in general because PvP is usually won when the tank falls. Like whoever. Um, whoever has their tank die first usually loses like 90% of the time so um, usually like the first unit that dies it's like it's already over and he his passive doesn't even matter that much in the in the grand scheme of things so I think I might want to use like a different monster another physical attacker um, for my team I right, see if we have any raids oh wait I do have a raid that was discovered by me. I'm still using this raid raid comp. It, I think it might still do the highest damage. I'm not totally sure. Um, but I think I definitely need an armor breaker. Like uh, the armor breaker matters a lot, but the orcas might not matter that much. So I think permanent attack buff, and then one more, um, you know, one damage dealer might might actually be be better because my my orcas is only at. Um, you know, level level thirty something. I think I might want to raise Diane for in the future for raids. 
because I this way I can have like multiple armor breakers or or the dragon. Maybe the dragon. The dragon does seem like he has a better armor break. He also gains bars for um, for attacking units that, that have debuffs. So if I'm like stacking armor break, then it might be really, really good. I'm going to wait for the next armor break, and then I'm going to pop Owen. Come on, Owen. Crit buff. And then nuke. Man, this is going to do so much damage. Holy shit. Oh, this guy's only level... This boss is only level 1. He's only level 1, he's dying really fast. Come on, come on, I just need a few more hits. I might be able to 100% him. Come on, I need to land one more armor break. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh shit, so close. Ah, oh, three bars left, three bars left. I think if I had one more armor breaker, it would be perfect. Dang, I almost 100% I almost that, that shit. Alright, I'll, I'll leave it for someone else to finish. All right, let's. Uh, what's the time riff for today? And I might have some destinies I want. I need to do. So it's Spire of Earth. Only elemental pets. Only elemental pets for Spire of Earth. Let's see if anybody has any destinies that need clearing. You, you. Oh wait, I don't. I don't think I even need to check because basically it's like elemental pets. So I just basically put in all my elemental pets, and they, they might have destinies for for that. Hmm, I wasn't able to perfect clear this last time. Oh no wonder I I can't even use uh. Can't even really use who I want. Let's put in this comp. This way, I at least have like one healer. Although her heal is probably gonna suck because she's only level one. But I might be able to do enough damage to like straight out kill him. Gonna wait for the buff. Wait for the nuke, and then transform. I need him to. Yeah, I need him to buff up, because he his buff is really strong. It negates like 80% physical damage. Okay, even with 80% <laughs> physical damage negation, he's still melted. That's pretty sad. Oh my god, he just killed my backline. Just like that. What is this bullshit? Alright, I can't complete their destinies if um, this keeps up. Maybe we need to move down a level. This way they can at least complete their destinies for um, for beating this beating the stage. Man, that was sad. That was really, really sad. I'm gonna wait for the buff, and also Lara to do her nuke, and then I'll transform into Owen, and then have Owen buff up. Yeah, his AoE does so much damage to my backline. It's insane. Or at least, at least I was able to complete some destinies with for my monsters by doing this. I'm not totally sure what I should do for Tower of Insolence. I think I might want to start farming the vampire, or maybe use my tickets to progress. Um, I think the vampire is actually pretty strong. I, I do definitely want to try him out. Um, I might be able to use him to replace Adele in the future if he's if he's that good, but it's just that that nobody has him right now. So I guess we 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 will see. I think he's the floor thirty boss or the floor forty boss. No, he's the floor thirty boss. Yes, he's the floor floor thirty boss. Um, so let's yeah, let's let's just start farming this floor over and over and over until until he drops. Or maybe there's some epic quality items. This is for Vashu. Probably doesn't need it. Yep, 
Nope, no epics. We have a ring, but then I think this is for for Lara, but my Lara doesn't need it. I have a better ring. All right, let's just farm floor thirty over and over until the boss comes out, and then we we fuck him up. I'm not sure if there's any destinies to kill the, that vampire guy. Probably not. Oh damn, he didn't spawn. Alright, we're just gonna do this floor on repeat, literally. Like, we're just gonna spam 430 over and over and over. Like, even if he spawns, we spam 430. Even if he doesn't spawn, we still spam 430. Please, please come out. I think he's coming out. Yes! We're gonna fuck him up. This is actually quite nice. You just literally stay on this floor and just farm it on repeat. He does actually seem quite good. Like his his uh his self sustain might might be pretty strong. I don't know if he's gonna get a chance to use it though. Alright, he's dead. I might as well get him and then test him out. If he's not good then I'll probably spend most of my resources farming um Zenith Queen pieces to get my Zenith Queen to four stars. Alright, we still have the chance to spawn him two more times today. I don't think I got a piece. I wasn't looking just now. I don't think I got a piece. It was... That was pretty bad. That was pretty bad, not gonna lie. Oh, this golem has a really annoying physical damage bu debuff. That completely stopped my Lara's damage just now. Yes, he's out. We got this. Alright. Let's do this run. Hope he drops. And then, uh... And then we go out. And then, I think, uh... We do another arena match. And then we summon. We summon hard. I was supposed to nuke first. Rip. Please drop something. Oh my god, this isn't this wasn't what I meant by drop something. That was so bad. Oh, my luck is pretty bad today. Holy shit. What is going on? They have so many heals. <laughs> and that physical damage buff is, is so strong. Oh my god, he didn't spawn. Rip. Now I have one last ticket. One last ticket, and for the last ticket, we're going to use it to progress. I think we're on 44, right? Yes, we're on 44. Maybe we're on 45. We should. I should probably check. If I can't enter 45, then I'll go back to 44. Alright, I'm on, I'm on 44. It's always a good idea to use your last ticket to progress whenever um, whenever you can. 
because you you never know when you might need to farm the like the next boss or something for for a destiny. So definitely, you know, if you have like just one ticket left at the end of the day, go to the highest level floor that you're at and then just um, just clear through it. Even if some unit side doesn't matter because it's your last run for the day. And you can get some uh, probably better gear at higher floors. I think you can uh, you can maybe use it, maybe sell it. All right, let's let's see if we can find that guy from before. The one I was I was gonna hit, but then I I didn't. How good is this new monster? Maybe I should test it out. I'll definitely lose this if I if I fight him. He's like all plus four, all four stars. Probably can't win. Oh, he's, he has a six-star spar toy. What the fuck? What is this bullshit? Damn, this guy's just... I think he's only, like, slightly stronger than me. Oh my god, a bone dragon. Actually, I could probably beat this. Let's, uh, let's test it out. Let's see, uh... See if we can do this. If RNG is good, then I'll then I'll fuck up that bone dragon. His anti healing is really annoying though. But the thing is, I'm not running a double healer comp, so it doesn't matter for me. And also, um, also, uh, what's what's her name? Adele has really high resistance. Oh my god! Please, I need my death knight to jump up, nuke the shit out of this Adele, and then we win. Oh my god, what is this heal? What the fuck? Come on, come on. Heal back? Oh god, my Lara's dead. My Lara might be dead. Ooh, bad RNG for him. Oh nice, I got my I got my nuke out. You guys are fucked. Stupid bone dragon. Nice, nice. I didn't think I could beat this guy. Stupid pay to win set. Dude, pay to win set doesn't matter now. I have like five sets, five pieces of the purified set already. So my, my gear is already way stronger. Hmm. You know, if you're, if you're going pay to win, you should at least pay smart, you know? You should at least buy the shit that's helpful. It's so dry here in Canada, my my lips are literally falling off. Oh, I got a orc uh orc axe man, that's actually pretty good. I think maybe I can raise him for the future. Alright, so it's summoning time. I'm gonna do this and then hopefully hopefully I get something good. Alright. See what I get. Hmm. All right, all right, all right. I'm kind of nervous to see which one is the actual real pet that I summoned. Hopefully it's this. Actually, wait, no, hopefully it's this. I right, just view all. What is this bullshit? Well, he's the one I actually unlocked. The flaming Archer, the, he's a new monster. I did, I got an RN piece. RN piece. I still can't summon the mermaid for some weird ass reason, like it's, that's so dumb. Oh, nice! I can I can evolve my spar toy. Nice, nice. All right, we're gonna do two. All right, we're gonna do two today. I think this is a pretty good. This was a pretty good pull. So that was a decent pull for me. Mm, this this seems like a really good pull. All right, Syria. Um, ten pieces for her. That's that's not that's not too bad. I got pieces for this. Man, it would be awesome to summon the Death Knight again. Get 20 pieces for him. But I actually got enough pieces for Kurtz. And I have enough pieces to evolve my um, my Black Knight. Yeah, this was pretty good too. Alright, uh... Let me, let me go evolve everyone, I think. 
And then there's a few things. Uh, actually, no, no. Let's let's just open my inventory. There's a few things in my inventory that. Actually, no. There's only one thing. We're gonna see how many curse stones I get today. Actually, it doesn't matter. I already, I can already summon him. Nice one. What 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 was I expecting? Was I was I was I actually expecting something else besides getting one piece for Kurtz? You know what? Fuck your stupid event. I already have this monster. Alright, so, um, I think for Guild Wars, I definitely do want to raise all my tanks. Like, the tanks are just really, really good. Because I can just use them to, uh, replace Adele. Oh, nice, I have him four stars now. Holy shit. Man, he might be worth using now. And I have this Destiny for him. I think I have a lot of these destinies already complete. I don't know if this guy's any good. Maybe he's good. Maybe I can use him. I do have a lot of monsters I can evolve now. Like my bugbear. Her, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, basically I have a whole bunch of shit I can evolve. Also healers, like I, I do want to raise all the healers as well for Guild Wars because you wanna you wanna stack heals for Guild Wars. So I think I wanna at least get all my healers to like you know at least thirty something and then like purple quality. And also the tanks as well. Like I I do need to raise basically basically healers and tanks to like just just make the fight last as long as humanly possible. And uh, and that's how you win basically in in Guild Wars. Nice, I got him to 3 stars. Oh yeah, I can get Diane to 3 stars too. Maybe I should use Diane, because Di like Diane as another armor breaker seems really, really nice. What skills does this guy have? Physical damage, causes burn, and then every ally increases phys physical damage passively. Hmm. Might actually be good. Maybe I should raise Diane for my raid team. Maybe run like a triple armor break raid comp. I think I should start raising my, my Dark Knight now, now that he's at 4 stars. I basically want to get all my tanks up as as high as possible. And uh, and healers up as high as possible. Nice, I can I can evolve my rabbit too. Alright. Alright, we're gonna have we're gonna definitely we're gonna definitely have some fun in guild battles later. Uh, very very soon in this week. All right, that's that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I think I'm all in all, my summons were were pretty nice, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.